Just a few months ago, Sora 2 set the internet buzzing with its ability to create lifelike cinematic AI videos. The quality shocked creators everywhere, and many thought it was the peak of what Sora could offer. But now, we have Sora 2 Pro. And the big question is simple. How much better is it really? In this tutorial, we are going to test Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro side by side, using the exact same prompts, settings, and scenarios. This way, you can see the raw difference in performance, quality, detail, and realism. No opinions, no hype, just a direct comparison that shows you what both tools can really do. We will look at how each version handles complex motion, human expressions, backgrounds, lighting, and audio. We will also test consistency across longer clips to see if the Pro version is just a slight upgrade or a complete game changer. By the end of this video, you will know exactly whether sticking with Sora 2 is enough or if upgrading to Sora 2 Pro is the smarter choice. Let's begin the side-by-side -side reel test and see which version truly delivers. For this test, I will be making use of this Sora 2 AI video generator website. Here, you have smooth access to both Sora 2 and Sora Pro. I will leave the link in the description so you can easily check it out for yourself for free. The goal of this tutorial is to put both versions of Sora 2, the Standard and the Pro, through a series of practical tests. I will be running them with the text to video feature as well as the image to video feature so we can directly observe how each one performs in real-world scenarios. I have already prepared a set of prompts and carefully selected images to ensure that the comparison is fair and balanced. This way, the results will clearly show where each model excels and where it might fall short. We are not just looking for surface-level differences. We are going to see how they handle detail, motion, texture, and realism when faced with identical input. Let us begin with the first stage of the test, which will focus on the Sora 2 text-to-video feature. This will allow us to get a clear baseline of its capabilities before moving on to Sora 2 Pro. Before I click on the Generate button, I want to quickly show you the exact prompt I will be using for this test. I will simply copy my prepared prompt and paste it directly into the prompt field. By doing this, you can clearly follow along and even try the same prompt yourself if you want to replicate the results. Here is the prompt I will be working with before we begin generating the output. Ultra-realistic cinematic video in 8K resolution showing a young woman starting her day. A close-up of an alarm clock ringing at 6 Hontuk AM. Cut to an over-the-shoulder shot of the woman stretching in bed with sunlight pouring through the curtains. Cut to a tracking shot of her brushing her teeth in front of the bathroom mirror. Steam rising from a hot shower in the background, the camera slowly panning across her face reflecting in the mirror. Cut to a wide-angle kitchen shot as she prepares breakfast, slicing fresh fruit and pouring coffee into a mug, followed by an overhead shot capturing the colorful food on the table. The vibe is cozy, natural, and realistic. Now make sure that the Sora 2 model is properly selected on the platform. Once that is confirmed, the next step is to choose your preferred aspect ratio depending on the type of video you want to create. After that, set the duration for the clip to match the length of your test. With these options in place, you can now go ahead and click on the Create Video button. Within a few seconds, the system will process the prompt and begin generating the video for you. The speed is quite impressive, and it usually does not take long before the final output is ready. Let's preview it. That was impressive to watch, right? Now it is time to run the very same test on Sora 2 Pro using the exact same prompt. The first step is to make sure the Sora 2 Pro model is selected. Just like before, you will also need to set your preferred aspect ratio to match the format you want for the video. Here is where the Pro version immediately begins to stand out. Unlike the standard Sora 2 model, Sora 2 Pro allows you to choose the resolution of your video, giving you more control over the final output. This is a very important feature for creators who need high quality results for professional use. Another major difference is the duration limit. While the standard version only allows a maximum of 10 seconds, 
Sora 2 Pro extends that limit and lets you generate videos of up to 15 seconds. For this demonstration, I will go ahead and select the 15 second option. Once that is set, I will click on the Create Video button. After just a few seconds of processing, the video will be ready. Now let us preview this one as well and see how it compares to the first result. So, how was that? Did you notice anything spectacular? Now, let us move on to testing the image-to-video feature on both models. I will start with the standard Sora 2. The first step is to upload my chosen image into the platform. Once the image is in place, I will enter a prompt that describes exactly what I want the video to look like. Normally, I like to use the same prompt that I originally used when generating the image, because that keeps the output consistent and closely aligned with the intended style. After that, I will leave the other settings just the way they are, without making any extra changes. With everything set, I will go ahead and click on the Create Video button. After a brief moment of processing, the video is generated and ready to preview. Let us take a look at the result together. Pretty impressive, right? Now that we have seen what the standard model can do, it is time to repeat the entire process, but this time with Sora 2 Pro. I will upload the same image, use the same descriptive prompt, and apply the same settings to keep things fair. Once the video is ready, let us preview the results and see how it compares. Impressed, right? One of the best things about this platform is that you can actually use it for free to start generating videos right away. This gives you the chance to test out the features and see the quality for yourself without spending anything. However, if you want to create more videos or unlock greater flexibility, there are affordable plans available. These plans give you access to more generations and allow you to enjoy consistent, high-quality results with both Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro. It is a simple and cost-effective way to take full advantage of everything the platform has to offer. And that's it. Did you notice any clear difference between the results? Was there an improvement in quality, deets, or motion that stood out to you in the Sora 2 Pro version compared to the standard Sora Sha? A 2? I would love to hear your thoughts, so make sure to let me know down in the comments section. Your feedback will also help others who are watching to decide which version is better suited for their needs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. See you in the next video.